profitability ratios measure the income or operating success of a company for a given period of time. Both creditors and investors are interested in evaluating profitability. Profitability is frequently used as the ultimate test of management's operating effectiveness. Several profitability ratios compare income with other items reported in the financial statements, such as common stockholders' equity, total assets, and net sales. In this video, we will discuss these eight ratios. Return on equity is a widely used measure of profitability. This ratio shows how many dollars of net income the company earned for each dollar invested by the owners. Return on common stockholders' equity is computed by taking the income available to common stockholders, so net income minus any preferred dividends, and dividing that by average common stockholders' equity, so make sure you exclude any preferred stock. If a company has only one class of stock, then the formula is simply net income divided by average stockholders' equity. When you compute ratios, remember balance sheet amounts are at a point in time, whereas income statement amounts are for a period of time, such as a month, a quarter, or a year. In comparing an income statement amount to a balance sheet amount, you should express the balance sheet as an average, so take the beginning and ending balances and divide by two. Return on equity is a widely used measure of profitability, but many consider the return on assets to be a better measure of management's ability to use assets effectively because it ignores how the assets were financed. It is computed by dividing net income by average total assets. Return on assets measure the overall profitability of assets in terms of the income earned on each dollar invested in assets. Return on assets is affected by two factors, profit margin and asset turnover. Asset turnover measures how efficiently a company uses its assets to generate sales. It is computed by dividing net sales by average total assets. The other factor that affects return on assets is profit margin. Profit margin is a measure of the percentage of each dollar of sales that results in net income. It is computed by dividing net income by net sales for the period. Gross profit, also referred to as gross margin, is the difference between net sales and cost of goods sold. The gross profit rate is computed by dividing gross profit by net sales. This ratio indicates a company's ability to maintain an adequate selling price above its cost of goods sold. All other things equal, a higher gross profit results in higher net income. Earnings per share is a measure of net income earned on each share of common stock. It is computed by dividing net income by the average number of common shares outstanding during the period. The earnings refer to the amount of net income available to each common stockholder. If there are preferred dividends, we must deduct them from net income to arrive at income available to common stockholders. The price earnings ratio often referred to as the P.E. ratio, measures the relationship between the current market price of a stock and its earnings per share. This ratio reflects investors' assessment of a company's future earnings. It is computed by dividing the market price per share by the earnings per share. The payout ratio measures the percentage of earnings distributed in the form of cash dividends. It is computed by dividing cash dividends declared on common stock by net income.